Yeah. That felt good. You kept your arms straight. Yeah, I felt like I was bowling on the left side. And I went right to the pins down there. That's the way to get your stroke lined up. Imagine a bowling lane, put the pins down there where you want your shot to go. And then swing that way. Accuracy. Oh, I got power, yeah, but your balls are going in the woods. The power, you play checkers. With accuracy, you play chess. You, play game? you decide. Checkers, see how many you can jump in a row. With accuracy, you decide which move you're gonna make. Like if you were playing chess. A little more mind to it. Playing with precision and playing with power. Precision first, after you accurate and you hit the ball where you want, then you add the power. Coming out there trying to learn a power first stroke. In which you're gonna spray balls all over the place. I don't know, it's up to you guys. I know what I would recommend first. Uh, what would work for most? What's easier for most to learn? And easier for most to do. Here's an exercise you can do by yourself. You can just go out there on the court, put a target on the other side, and practice your swing path band on the alignment of the target. So I put the target on my side, yeah, on the other side there, inside the doubles alley. You guys can see the orange cone. So I'm gonna practice my my swing going towards the cone first. And I'm gonna do some, some drop hits and see if I can get the ball to go to the cone. First I'm gonna do a close stance, semi-close stance. And just gonna turn here and keep the swing inside the alley here, see? Make sure it's not coming out of the alley. Lose in the alley until I get my arm extended all the way out in front. And then I just bend it up or bend it across the body this way. But here the swing is inside the path here, see? Not coming across. Open stance, same thing. Keep your swing in the path. Don't let it come across this way. Keep it inside the alley. Although you're open stance and just coiling your upper butt. So this would be the practice swing right here. Let's see the result with the ball now. Grab a couple of balls. Oh. Go a little deeper. If you just stay out there, try to knock out that target. You'll be surprised. I you start getting the ball to go exactly where you want. It's much easier to aim towards the target. If you're just aiming somewhere towards the court there in the corner, but there's no particular target for you to hit, it's harder for you to work on your accuracy. Put a target over there and try to hit it. And it helps you align your stroke too. Here you go. Here you go. Right here, go. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a couple open stands for you guys out there that like to hit the modern forehand this way. I need to understand that also in the contact zone you need to keep the racket on the path, which would be going this way instead of going this way. So here we go, open stance. Just drop the ball here. Still going towards the cone, see? What enables me to have this path here, even though I'm open stance, is because I'm turning the upper body here. Now I can have this path. A lot of people hit the open stance, lower body, but they don't turn the upper body. Then you end up with an arm swing across the body like this. Make sure that even though your lower body is not coming this way, that up here you do turn. And then there's your swing pad. All right, guys, there's only one more thing left to do, right? Which is what? Knock down the cone. Let's see if I can get one. Close. 
All right, guys, yes, we took care of that one. Let's take care of the middle cone now. Try to knock that one down. I'm choosing to change close stance, open stance, close stance. That way I work on both here. Check it out, I'm doing both. Close stance, open stance. Close stance, and then the open stance. One more down, let's try to get the corner one now. All right guys, I got two down. I got one standing there. I don't like him standing there. Let's get him down, right? Let's do it. Almost. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, one, two, three. Oh, I feel good. It took me a few tries, as you, as you saw it. Some of the tries weren't hitting right on the cone, but it was making me feel good because I was feeling like pretty accurate with my shots. Stayed patient with it until I had a little joy of actually knocking all three down okay i hope this can inspire you guys to go out there and practice on your own a little bit and become you know more accurate hitters it will for sure benefit your game and will en enable you to later on turn up the volume and be able to hit the ball harder and still keep them in the court all right